Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today, I specifically want to focus on the cultural differences when it comes to Korean relationships and US relationships. When I was in Korea, when I was studying abroad in Korea, I noticed a lot of, you know, unique, different stuff when it came to couples um, in the streets of Seoul. And to help me with this video, I wanted to call over my friend who's actually from Korea. Um, he's here studying uh, currently as an exchange student. Yeah, let me go ahead and call him. Alright guys, so this is my friend Jay. Go ahead and uh, introduce yourself. Okay, um, hello, my name is Jay and i um, from South Korea. And I came here right away ever since I graduated my high school uh, to learn about um, medical things, you know, I want to be your nursing, like, nurse. Um, so before you watch this video, we just wanted to let you know that these are our own personal opinions and that we don't mean to, like, offend anyone who takes this video really seriously. So please do not take this video seriously as, like I said, it's just our opinion and, yeah. Um, 그냥... 이 비디오를 만드는 목적은 어, 그냥 저희가 어, 다른 나라에 가서 한국이나 미국에 와서 그냥 느꼈던 것을 그냥 저의 의견, 의견으로 나타낸 것 뿐이니까 심각하게 받아들이지 말아주세요. Yes, 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 yes. Whatever he said. 감사합니다. <웃음> <웃음> 감사합니다. <웃음> so, like what I said um, through the intro is that um, I realized a lot of like cultural differences when it came to Korean couples and American couples. Uh, and one of the first things that we wanted to talk about was couples in Korea dressing alike. Explain that to me. Why? Why is it in Korea that? You know, like they have like matching shirts or like matching jeans or whatnot, or like they have that couple look. Um, it's literally uh, represent that we're a couple. Oh, really? Yeah. All right. So yeah, I mean, yeah, I remember when I was like at a the, the metro station, yes, and I would see people like wearing like the same shirts and stuff. I'm just like, oh, that's cute. And then when I like as like the time <laughs> went by and then like I was like roaming around the streets of Seoul yeah, right. I see more and more couples wearing the same thing and I'm just like okay like this is completely different like <laughs> the US Yeah That's so true, that's so true Because like um it's, I don't know where it came from but um I don't know just People are like welling to like Stress to see yeah. them, right? Okay, and yeah, I guess they find it cute, I guess. Cause like, I know a lot of foreigners, they find it strange. If you do that in the US, I think it... A lot of people would f uh, probably find that kind of... Um, yeah, weird. weird. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Other people have their own opinions. <laughs> All right, number two. In Korea, from what I've heard, um, couples usually wait for a while until they actually do like skinship you know like start touching each other and whatnot you know um but like when it comes to like american culture i feel like they're very straightforward like they're very yeah. straightforward with how they feel mm -hmm. if they connect with each other really well mm -hmm. you know they end up like having sex later on that night or whatever it's like <laughs> i don't know like that's yeah. that's a lot different in like korea like a lot different like um Okay, on the other hand, like in Korea, um, like we, when like during conversation, we barely looking our um, eyes? eyes because uh -huh. it's like be kind of rude. Uh -huh. Because like, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's rude. Yeah, so, but in the US, what I felt is like eye contact is really important that, it is, like, yeah. It is. Like, is he like listening to me, right? Right, 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 right. So yeah, so like skinship isn't normal. When you first get with your girlfriend or your boyfriend in Korea, they usually don't do skinship right away. They wait for a while because it's kind of considered rude. Or not rude, but like, they would rather wait, right? Yeah, because like, um, I would say, uh, the culture of the Korea is more a little bit of conservative than US or US. the other European or you know right Cause, other countries right because then like here in the US like they have like public display which is like PD 
PDA. And you know, a lot of people actually do that, which is kind of a lot of people find that uncomfortable. And you're know, like in Korea, I know like a lot of the Ajishis and like the Ajuma and whatnot, <laughs> like the older people, yeah. they find that kind of you know like weird in like the Korean culture because they're not used to seeing that. Yeah, I don't know. It's like it's yeah. It's like it's more respectful to do it on your own, like on the side, than doing it in public. I don't know. But so, um. Uh, nowadays, like uh, the things which is like uh, about the relationship is getting more um, open. Intense. Yeah, uh, okay. it's getting, getting open. open. Yeah. yeah. So, like new generations, like between like fifteen to you know twenty, late twenty, uh -huh. uh -huh. they're um pretty much like free. Okay, so yeah. they're. Basically breaking barriers and you're like, you know, taking that stereotype away and then they're starting to adapt more to the Western culture. That's right. So when in like American culture, I know a lot of couples, they count how many months, you know, they've been together mm -hmm. since the first day, you know, like they ask each other to, you know, be in a relationship. I know like in Korea, instead of counting months and years, they count by days. Yeah, right. right. Like celebrate by themselves. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like yeah. um, I don't know. Actually, I don't like it because it's too much work. Okay. You don't know want to say like <laughs> two two like white day, uh -huh. what Valentine's Day. Ah, right. uh, no. Yeah. I mean, like that's kind of similar to the American culture because I know, like, I have a few friends, and you know, I've been in a relationship before, um, where we would count how many months we were together. And then, you know, like, if it's our, you know, like, our first year anniversary and whatnot, of course, like, we would treat each other out to dinner and whatnot. Of course, that's kind of similar to, like, Korean culture, right? And I remember one of my friends, um, he was asking me, he's like, oh, like, how many, like, what was the longest days? How, like, how long, how many oh. days were you, like, ever with a girl and whatnot? And I'm just like, days? Like, days? <laughs> we don't count days in the U.S. We count, like, months or, like, years, you know? So uh, I thought that was kind of interesting. So when it comes to like paying, you know, like when you're in a restaurant and whatnot, um, in Korea, who usually pays, the guy or the girl? Oh. Or is it kind of like the same? I don't know, you tell me. Okay, in my opinion, guys. Guys? Okay, so yeah. why, why do you think the guys always have to pay? <laughs> you be honest. Like, be honest. This is your own like opinion. Like, okay. Don't get offended by whatever he <laughs> says, but it's just his own opinion. Okay. Um. Because guys. Because. Um. I don't know. It just fixes like that. Fix it. Fixed. Like okay. That. It just fixed like that. So usually the guy usually pays for the girl. Yeah. At first. At first date. At first. And maybe. After? <laughs> Afterwards too? Like yeah. continues? Ooh, I would hate to. I'm just kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> but I'm not sure, like, um, usually among my friends, mm -hmm. like, uh, one of my friends, his girlfriend paid for, like, uh... Him time to time. Yeah, time to time. Oh, or, right. um, he bought, buy for, buy for uh, dishes, mm -hmm. like, which is, you know, like, uh, dinner or mm -hmm. a lunch, mm -hmm. and his girlfriend buy his... For um, coffee, cup okay. of coffee or something. Yeah, I mean, like in American culture, like when I was with my ex girlfriend, like, you know, like we would definitely um, take turns on like paying. Like, you know, sometimes we actually argue on who to pay the bill. Like, who, who would be the one to pay the bill? And, you know, I think, like, in general, the general rule to this is, like, you guys should take turns on paying a bill. Like, you can't really have one person pay the bill all the time. Because then again, you need to think about their financial, you know, like, issues and stuff. And then, mm -hmm. you know, like, you also got to put in the work, you know. It's like, you're yeah. both there together and you need to, you know, it's like, take turns. Yeah. Yeah, but, okay, um, but, like, if I'm kind of, you know, wealthy... And you uh, right, know, right, right. and, and I and I was willing to pay for my girlfriend because yeah, of I, course, yeah, of course. because I like her. Or, yeah, of yeah. Course. But, but yeah, <laughs> that's not the case right now. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, in general, um, I think like we should pay like yeah, half and half, half and half, or at least like six or forty. Right. 
Okay. If you're a girl and you always rely on your boyfriend to pay for you, please like at least pay once yeah. or twice or actually like I don't know offer to pay. You know? Is it normal to bring your significant other, your girlfriend, to your house in Korea, or would that be considered kind of awkward? I will consider it's kind of awkward because, okay. Okay. um, yeah, like in in my house, there's my brother. There, yeah, there's my brother. There's my mother. There's your, my your father. Family. Yeah, all of my family is in my house, uh -huh. like night or day. Right, right. So like, if I bring my um girlfriend mm -hmm. in my house, then it's kind of be a little bit awkward because, as you know, like. There's a thing like American house is kind of big right. than Korean yeah, house. Korean house. I mean, unless you're hella wealthy in Korea. Yeah. Okay. So like if I, like nice. yeah like so if I bring my girlfriend to oh. my apartment, then of course it's it hella see small. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. So you know like really it's not noisy yeah. and you know that's true. I know like in American culture like it's kind of you know normal to bring. I don't know, like your girlfriend or something. Like you could introduce them as your friend or something to your parents and whatnot. But who the hell likes lying nowadays? But um, yeah, like in American culture, it's so normal to bring like your significant other to your house. And usually, what ends up happening when you're like in your room, like your own room, is like they start, you know, like yeah. some intense shit. Yeah. Like they start having <laughs> sex. But um, yeah, I guess that would be weird in like Korean culture because then. The parents would probably start thinking otherwise, right? They would start like well, very conservative. Okay. About yeah. the sexual thing. Right. Is that why there's a lot of motels in Korea? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's not talk about this. <laughs> so you told me earlier, you know, um, that the ratio between guys and girls in Korea mm -hmm. is significant not significantly, but like there's more guys in Korea than there are girls. Yeah, I just read. Yeah. What I felt. Okay. Yeah, so usually when it comes to like a really, really pretty girl, of course, like a lot of these Korean guys would like, you know, like bombard her cacao, you know? Yeah. Stuff like that. But like here in the US, I feel like it's kind of like the same. Uh, I don't know. No, I think like a little bit more um, girls might. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's kind of true. I think there is a lot more girls in the US. Yeah. I don't actually know the demographic, but I don't know. Okay, whatever. Yeah. Driving culture. Driving culture. <sighs> Who... Oh, <laughs> Who usually drives in Korea? Does a girl usually drive? Guys. Oh, okay, okay. Guys. Okay. There you go. The guys usually <laughs> drive. I mean, I feel like that's kind of similar to the US. Well, not really, because not really. Um, we both have our licenses. Like, it's normal to have your license here in Get it. the US because um, you know even at a really young age you want to start driving you know because like later on in the future it's gonna be important it's something it's important to have you know yeah, right. so like when you're in a relationship usually the your partner usually has a license as well so you guys take turns driving yeah you know? right. but the only issue is like you know sometimes like one person has a car and the other person doesn't so it's like there's really no specific gender that um, drives so usually we take turns driving if we both have cars but if the guy only has a car then you know of course the guy drives you know but then you know like sometimes they take turns driving that car yeah right not. yeah but in korea how is it um honestly i would say uh guys drive more drive more because like uh, i don't know like girls they don't want to drive I, like mm. Because it's hard and um, you don't have yeah like you have to buy a car right. for your own right. and you know too much care like uh, right. insurances right. so like um, I don't know just like uh, take the burden okay. to yeah yeah I feel that I mean like when <laughs> I was in Korea what I noticed was like there were more guys driving than there were girls. Um, or let's say women, ladies. Um, I don't know. Like I barely saw any. I usually saw men driving, and uh, I thought that was pretty strange. Um, but I guess the culture is just different when it comes um, to Korea and the U.S. 
Yeah, but I I think like uh, in the US, like uh, US is uh, US is really big, so uh -huh. they had to know how to drive. Of course. Yeah, yeah ever since they graduated high school. So, but on the other hand, like Korea is small, so yeah. like um, public mm. transportation is well um, developed. So yeah, also yeah, public transportation. Like I know, like only some parts of the U.S. actually have like really good transportation. Like you have New York, Chicago, San Francisco has pretty good transportation mm -hmm. as well. But you know, in other parts of the United States, there's not that many you know great trains or like metros that you can take. But yeah, like props to the. F Korean government, like their freaking transportation system yeah. is really good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I got around places pretty great. <laughs> when it comes to approaching someone, when you when you find someone really attractive, mm -hmm. who usually approaches, takes the initiative to, you know, approach that person and say, hey, you're so cute. Um <laughs> <laughs> uh, guys. Guys. Yeah, guys. Yeah. yeah, guys. Usually for at first, because um, I think Korean girls are usually they get shy at first. This like, is yeah. very true, dude. Like I remember um, when I went to go drinking at Thursday party. Mm -hmm. I've, I've mentioned this in one of my videos. Go there. Um, a lot of foreigners, why not? Um, a lot of the Korean girls, they're actually very shy. They don't want to approach you. Mm -hmm. You would have to approach them at first. But then again, you don't want to seem like you're thirsty, so you have to befriend them, you know? Oh. Yeah, so you have to like talk to them and you know, like warm things up, like make them feel comfortable and stuff like that. But yeah, like they're shy, they're shy people. Like, so uh, they wait till you initiate uh, to talk. Right, right. 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 So there you have it. These are just a few, you know, cultural differences when it comes to Korean couples mm -hmm. and, you know, American couples. Um, I know there's a lot more things. Um, we'll probably make a part two or something later on. Uh, but uh, yeah, um, like I said, please do not feel, you know, offended by any of these. You know, if you're from Korea and you find that these are wrong, go ahead and, you know, leave a comment below and you like, you know, just express yourself, you know, just like, no, Shiba, you're so wrong, <laughs> I don't know, it's sick, you know, stuff like that, but like, um, no hate, like, this is just our own opinions, yeah. you know, like, we're not trying to be ignorant or anything, so, yeah, <laughs> um, you have anything? Yeah, if you don't have to give up, you can give up. Right, so, yeah, that's about it, um, gonna go ahead and uh, end this video um we'll talk to you guys maybe on the next video <laughs> if we come up with something i don't know yeah. okay but yeah bye, bye.